And anyway, to recap real quick, I mean, so you, you started a Facebook group, you uh, developed a community or the, a community was developed that kind of validated that uh, you were going to be able to solve a problem. You then took advantage of a government shutdown to, uh, to really take the business into the next gear. And then fast forward a little bit, uh, a little bit, a couple months later, a couple years later, and then you look to expand how, uh, and so you recently opened up a second location. How did that process work? How did you narrow down where to go and what to do? Um, talk about the next journey. So it was crazy to start off opening a second location during this pandemic. It, I mean, it's insane to even comprehend what we just did because, I mean, you have all these businesses closing because they, they don't have the revenue coming in. And here we are like, yeah, let's just, let's just do this. But I think it's, I think it's one of those situations is, where is it that crazy though, or is it just that the narrative that you're hearing is that only businesses are doing negative? Because there are plenty of businesses that I think are not getting the limelight during COVID as well that are expanding. Not to diminish right. that no, no, stuff, no. but no, you're you're totally right. I think it, it's it's one of those perceptions that everyone is failing, and in reality, right. it's not everyone's failing. It's people are definitely having harder times than others, right? Restaurants are struggling, bars are struggling, you know, entertainment venues are struggling. But at the same time, you you have to, again, you have to look and see what what information, what data do you have there that can support another location? So, you know, we had always been on the fence that we wanted to open a second location because we're fulfilling something that these other companies can't do we're 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 in person we're letting people touch the equipment before they rent it they can come try it out anytime they want and people like that i mean they they would rather come to us and talk to us and have in-person conversations and call us on the phone and and chat and know our communities and talk about our communities rather than just go place an order online and just wait for ups or fedex to show up and then have to sign for the package and deal with shipping so like I said, we'd always talked about opening a second, second location. We weren't sure where to do it. And originally I said, we're going to do it on the peninsula. So somewhere between Newport News, Hampton, Yorktown, Williamsburg, somewhere in that area. And thinking more about it, I said, well, our main clientele now is Virginia Beach in, in the south side. And the next largest population density would be Richmond. So if you live in Williamsburg, you have the opportunity to go to Norfolk or Richmond. And it's kind of, it's similar distance. So I said, well, let's just go on the outside of Richmond because that probably makes the most sense to have the most density of people and hit a new, a new group of people and a new clientele and a new customer that we can grow into Richmond and, and most likely open multiple locations just in Richmond and then open a location on the peninsula. And it just made more sense looking at what opportunity was in Richmond versus what opportunity was on the peninsula, just because, the people on the peninsula have the opportunity to go south or north or west, however you want to look at it, um, you know, to the store. So, so really, is it more, you, you, you were able to, ex, to, to go deeper into that, you were able to expand into more into a newer market. If you were to be closer to Richmond rather than maybe take, uh, uh, to take a chunk out of your current market that you were currently doing, if you were to just open on the peninsula. It, right. So yeah. the peninsula, I, I pulled the numbers a, a really long time ago, uh, probably in 2018 is when I pulled the, the numbers, but it was something like 23% of our customers were coming from the peninsula. And 23%? That was it. 23%. The majority of everybody else was, most of our, we have, it, it's some crazy number for Virginia Beach. It's like 50 some percent. And then everything else trickles out between Suffolk and Chesapeake and Portsmouth. Um, but it, it wasn't, it, it just didn't make sense to, to pull away from our Norfolk store. And I know that with the HRBT and the way traffic is, it makes it hard for a lot of people to get to Norfolk, but it, it just made more sense to go to Richmond, you know, just a new community, new clientele and a lot more people to target and, and, more to do. and, and so, really you're, you can market it more. You got the Williamsburg right. community in there. I mean, that, that yeah. yeah. 